All right, folks, Sega Sonic fan here, working on this water drop reverse osmosis water filter. What a bastard this thing is. Oh, man, I was really liking this thing. Had it for about eight months, and then it told me one of the filters was low, which is this filter, pre-sediment and carbon block filter. Okay, no biggie, right? Uh, I can change that when I want, you know, and I don't really want to right now. They're uh, not cheap and the water tastes fine. I've only been using it for eight months, just me. So like, that seems like a really short time for the filter to last. Well, what they've done is included a piezo tweeter that beeps at you really loud, like a, like a truck going in reverse the entire time you run the faucet. So if you're filling a gallon of water, it will beep at you the entire you know, two minutes or whatever that, that takes. Every time I go to the kitchen to fill a glass of water, this stupid thing is beeping at me. There's no reason for that. It could just beep once, twice, you know, just to let you know, change the filter. There's already an LED indicator on the front to let you know to change the filter. In my opinion, the beeping is only there to annoy the crap out of you so that you buy more filters. As you can see, I put a piece of electrical tape to block the lights because they're, they're really bright. And when I get a glass of water at night, I don't need to be blinded. Uh, here's the really crazy part though. There's a decoy. There's a decoy piezo speaker that does not actually cause the sound. So I previously had made a recording that uh, you just take off this front bezel, which has this clip at the bottom down here, and then there's clips on the side. And I ended up using a cell phone opening kit to uh, get around those clips on the side. You take this off after taking out the two filters and unplugging it and undoing all the connections, of course, first. Uh, and then uh, on the back, there's four screws that hold this board down and you can see the little speaker icon. There's actually a piezo tweeter that I desoldered. I removed that, desoldered it, put everything back in, thought I was done, and the bastard was still beeping at me. It's like, are you kidding me? Uh, so it turns out you have to remove the entire assembly from the frame. Oh boy because there's another circuit board in here with, yes, another piezo tweeter. How stupid is that, folks? I'm sorry, that just pisses me off. Uh, there is some conformal coating in here, which is real nice. As you can see, that will protect this thing from water corrosion. And it's quite a lot of it, too. That's fine, but like, geez, the beeping and, and the hard to get to hidden module with the beeping. Ah. Anyway, I'm making this video to let y'all know what you need to do. When you look at the back of your unit, there's gonna be three white covers. You can just pull those out. I just use my finger, it was pretty easy. Under those three, there's gonna be three screws. They're all Phillips, you undo those three screws. Then you're gonna to wanna to push, you wanna be very careful to push, to make sure these uh, the clips are pushed down uh, because this lip will catch on them when you remove the clips around the sides using the same method, you know, these heavy duty clips. It's so kind of a pain but you just have to go slow and kind of be persistent. And when you start to get the clips off, just try to make sure you don't catch the, uh, this lip doesn't catch your, uh, your adapters that hold in the, uh, the water hoses because those will, those will break or pop out. Once you do that, there's four screws on the bottom, which hold on the rubber feet, but also hold on this. And then there's also a bunch of screws uh, in the front around the bezel which are fairly obvious. Ooh, you can see one of my clips actually broke. Um, right here. So uh, yeah, these guys, there's six screws here. You undo all those. Obviously you have to have the filters out. And then this whole assembly will slide out. Then you have two more screws before you can get to this. And then uh, you have more screws and conformal coating crap that I'm gonna have to get through to finally pull this out. I might just take a pair of pliers and pull that out. So I probably shouldn't because I don't want to break this thing. It's really expensive. But then you should have water filter with a red light notification, which it always has, which is fine. But no beeping. No beeping. Water drop, if you're watching this video, shame on you for making this extremely annoying system. And, you know, the other engineering is fine. It's a very, you know, effective water filter. But shame on you for doing this. This is ridiculous. I will change the filter when I want to change the filter. You don't get to decide that by annoying the crap out of me. All right, that's my spiel. Everyone have fun hacking it and repairing and making your electronics and things more enjoyable. This is Sega Sonic Fan, signing out.